so before I start this, do you have any like specific questions about it? Like, so you said you want to be more comfortable holding center, but not back, not sure. But how much have you done into like uh, looking at why specifically you're having these issues? Um, honestly, <laughs> it's complicated. Like for the past few years, I think I've just had a big issue of not understanding threat ranges and pretty much like not being comfortable close to my opponent or like in because fox fox is really good like close up because he yeah. has unreactable options but for some reason like in my head i'm always like oh no if i get close i'm gonna get like clipped with a shine or if i'm versus marth i'm gonna get grabbed and i don't want to get grabbed so i just stay away like far away um I don't know why. It's okay. just instinct, I guess. Well, that, that, um, there, there's an easy way to address that. That's that's a pretty natural instinct, but there's also a pretty logical way to combat that. So you're you're being scared because you're like, oh, well, all these things could go wrong, right? Right. And you're right. They could go wrong. You could get grabbed. You could get clipped by shine, right? Uh, the thing is, melee, there are two people when, they, when you play a game of melee, and the other person also is at risk of something going wrong, getting clipped, getting near up tilted, getting grabbed, getting shined. That's so true. that doesn't mean that it's not scare for you, but basically the way I expect the way I can uh for like phrase it in my mind is who is it scarier for, right? So even if it's quote unquote scare like in a vacuum, sure, it's scarier for you. You have a chance to just get blown up. But let's say that Marth has like a fifteen percent chance to get a grab and a scramble if you're playing well properly, and you have a forty percent chance to get a nair up tilt and a scramble versus him. Who do you think is going to win? Fox. Yeah, right. I, I would say probably Fox. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe like someone can make argument. I don't know if it's not true. Even then, I'm not 100 percent sure because I think two openings, three openings is enough to kill. And so the way you can phrase that is instead of is it scare for you objectively? What's the expected value? Are you likely to get an opening here? Are you more likely to get an opening here? And is it going to be a bigger opening than what they're likely to get? And you might get blown up. That's completely fine. If you get blown up and the other person's outplaying you consistently, well, then, sick. You have to go back and figure out why you're getting outplayed in those situations, right? But right. overall, Fox is so good in the scrap. He's so good in scrambles that you're not really going to run into situations where you're playing super well, you're doing everything properly, and you're consistently losing. Mm -hmm. I think... To, to maybe add on, give you like a, a, a like a greater perspective on that. I think it pro probably what it is is I don't really know what the what like the best options are at when I'm in close range, and also I don't know like I'm not really good at recognizing what the opponent wants. So I just go you know because I'm not comfortable in those situations. I guess just instinctively I'm like oh well let's not go there because I'm not comfortable you know but I should be comfortable there. Mm hmm. So, uh, so there, there's a bunch of things that you can say about that, right? Um, one is if you know you're not comfortable there, how much have you actually gone back to look at those specific interactions? I'm assuming we're having a lesson now, so we're obviously going to be talking about them in some extent, right? Yeah. But when you recognize that, okay, I'm not comfortable in these situations, the obvious answer is, okay, well, time to go back and look at those situations and see where exactly I'm going wrong, see what options I'm picking that are incorrect or that are getting consistently punished. You might be picking options that are actually pretty good, but someone else could be picking options that are, like, traditionally pretty scrubby but are working out for whatever reason. That's not always the case, but that could be the case. Um, you might just be completely unaware of something. Or just because you're in a scrap doesn't mean you're in a favorable position, right? The, the way I phrased it when I said expected value, um, Fal if Falco's at frame advantage, right, and you're in a scrap, then that's bad for you. Sure, then you sure. want to get the hell out of there, right? I, I don't want to be I don't want to be in a scrap against Falco when he has frame advantage. That's bad. But if it's a true scramble, neither is frame advantage. Fox has a better jump squat, right? His shine is bigger. He has an up smash that is terrifying, right? And so there's a lot of things that should be working in your favor. So frame advantage is very, very important. Did you just get hit by a laser? How close are you when you got hit by the laser? Are you on end like from a move and is he able to whiff punish you, right? Mm-hmm. All of those are, like, super crucial, and I think a lot of people think Fox is, like, really good in the scrap, and they just kind of abuse that, and then they're like, oh, but I keep getting blown up. It's like, well, yeah, you're just letting him laser you and trying to take laser up tilt, but he's on top of you. You, you can't do that. You just lose. Right. Uh, obviously, we'll see when we do it, but remember, the, the way I, I phrase it, kind of expected value, should be an overarching concept, and that should include all of that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I would go back and try to see like okay who is actually at an advantage here it's a good mental exercise to be able to do and then 
from there you can kind of figure out okay these are good situations to take these are bad situations to take and then let me try to figure out from there where i can go now obviously this is i'm giving you stuff that's like it's not super high level but it's like not super intro level either i don't really know what your level is but that it is an overarching concept that you can apply like even the most basic principles and then you can get better at applying it later yeah i think i'm like uh i mean i'm okay uh i don't know if this means anything to you but i'm like expert in melee online which is like it's okay okay I think. yeah no, no i i know i in know Italy, though, yeah when i play versus falco though um i look trash oh so this is this pigeon is... okay yeah yeah um <laughs> So this isn't the greatest showcase, I don't think. But I mean, it showcases where I'm terrible. So. Well, let's let's look through it. I'm gonna watch through like a few stocks. Okay. And then we'll see where to go from there. Look, exactly here, right? You went into a scrap, but what did you go into, right? A Falco laser. A laser. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna watch through a stock too, just to get an idea for what you're doing, and then figure out from there. Well, one, what, what's up with the up smashes right now? Uh, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's a good move. It's a good it's move. Is that why you're doing it? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I actually think that you're just kind of throwing shit out because you just don't really know what to do. And that you have so you have some general ideas of like how to maneuver in the matchup, but I think your choices out of them are very questionable. Uh mm -hmm. like just 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 we'll we'll go into this game in depth, but just look at this, right? Look at everything on the screen. And then tell me why this nair is just like it just shows me that you don't really you're not super paying attention. Um well he's at zero percent. <laughs> yeah, that's a big starter. Yes, he's at zero percent. That's he's probably my <laughs> biggest that's probably my biggest issue with it. Right, he's at zero percent, so it's not even gonna knock down. No. Um and then on top of that, it's a weak nair. Mm -hmm. So that makes it even worse. Um and I'm yeah, I mean I'm just not gonna get much out of it. Yeah, so. there's nothing you you can't expect to get anything out of this, right? If you did drill, okay, maybe you're trying to play the fast fall mix up with drill. Maybe you you want to test him and see if he can actually time the up tilt properly on the no fast fall. All right, I'm down. The drill turns isn't actually like not not the greatest move in my opinion, but it's not bad. I'll, I'll take it, right? But this is like, what are you doing? All right, you hit it, you yeah. get the shine, but then he just goes to ledge anyways, right? And then he gets, he get, sure, you get it because of soccer angle, but again, you're not going to get anything off of but a shine, and he's just going to fly to ledge. So, and the, the risk there is just not worth it. Remember what I said expected value? That goes everywhere. Like, what, what realistically are you going to get out of that? I mean, yeah, not, not, not anything great, so. Yeah. Now, the difference is, like, with here, the back air, I could say the same thing, right? It's not going to knock down. It's not going to get much. But the thing is, he's in the corner, right? The back air pushes him into the corner. Maybe you get him to kind of panic, jump. Maybe you get a jump, and he jumps into another back air, and you get a shine, right? I don't mind this back air as much because positionally, it makes a little more sense. You get the back air. You're getting close to knockdown percent. It's spaced, so you're not trying to, like, land on top of him with it, right? So I don't mind that back air as much, even though uh, directly you might not get as much off it as you would have done something else. And then now let me ask you something. Look at this angle you're going to approach from. What are you realistically hoping to get out of this? Um, <laughs> see, this is the problem. Like, I'm watching myself, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know why the hell I did this. Um, it's possible I was like trying to get like behind him in back air, but that doesn't make any sense. Back air him to center stage when it's not gonna knock yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Right. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. So to me, this is you're kind of playing. You're you're playing, and you're looking to hit the person, but you're not looking to win the the. It's like. You just want to get the hit, and you're like, oh, I hit him. I won the exchange. And it's like, uh, yeah, eh. That's like kind of the vibe I'm getting from this gameplay so far. You just want to hit the person, and if you do, you're like, sick, I won. Awesome. And it's like, well, no, you didn't win. You actually lose it pretty hard, right? Even if you get the hit, you lose it pretty hard. And the risk for getting the hit is also gigantic. So, okay. I want you to restructure something. First off, what are your big combo openers on Falco? Shine. Shine. That's pretty good. Right. Obviously, you don't want to give him the ledge, but Shine has its uh, has its place for sure, right? Mm -hmm. Grab. Grab is great. And up smash. Up smash is great. One more move. Drill. Yep. Shine, okay. grab, drill, up smash. Right. Those four things. If I land them on Falco and I'm hitting them consistently, I will win my set as long as I don't miss my tech chases. Mm -hmm. Right. Those are the four things you want. So now. Let's see how many times you use something outside of those four up smashes that you got, right? Okay, so you tried to drill in there, but we both know that that drill is not great for a variety of reasons, right? Right. 
you do have this thing where you're consistently attacking Falco from like right up here. Uh, I showed you it earlier. So you're like coming down from this area like over and over again. You like jumping here, falling down here. Mm -hmm. you, not not really worth contesting that there. Uh, I'll I'll explain how to contest that though. Let's see. Okay, so you probably tried to do Nair again there because you've tried Nairing there a few times. Drill in there. He's on the platform. That was a weird interaction that didn't work out. But look, you got the drill and look what happened. You got 50%. You could have gotten more if you didn't get hit by a getup attack. Sick, right? Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Nair's better now. It knocks down. I don't mind it as much anymore. Okay, you have running up smash for some reason. Falco said that's a good idea. Careful. Don't want to get. Don't want to hit them when they're in a when they're in the air with a drill. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of an issue to talk about. I want to talk about this afterwards, but I just want to prove the point that whenever you use your big openers, you usually do pretty well. Yeah, that becomes a lot better again because of knockdown. So I don't mind it there as much. Drilling coming down immediately. This is where you start the up smashes. Okay, you miss your tech chase, and then you'd want to go for trying to miss your grab. Okay, so you're kind of flailing around here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. You're you're very you're very you're very much fishing. Why? Because I'm just not comfortable. Like I, I hate this matchup, dude. I hate it. So I just want to like get whatever the hell I can to do damage. I don't know. Okay. I I want to figure out where to start breaking this down. I think I think it is. If I can explain it in broad strokes, I think it's just a problem with my like, like recognition. I I don't I'm not I'm very bad at paying attention. Yeah. I don't really know why. I don't think like, you're bad at paying attention. Only... I think you don't know what to look for. Yeah, it, it probably is that because it's only with like it's not like I have like it's not like I'm, I, in other places in my life I have an issue paying attention. It's just in melee. Like I I don't know why though. I don't I, know. I think you it just don't know is. what to look for in this matchup. Uh, I don't know what you are what you do in other matchups. But I think that you're you're not playing very disciplined, and I think you're just trying to throw stuff out to hit it because you're not really sure what Falco's trying to do. So there's a few things about that. One, there's a very common thing with a lot of Falco's openings that I want you to understand. What are Falco's big openers? Shine. Sure, but he's not really going to land a raw shine in neutral very much, right? He's not going to oh, okay, run and shine okay. you like Fox would. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, Dare. Yeah, Dare. And... Dare's Nair, one. Dare, Nair, right? Dare, Nair, laser into whatever, laser, right? Yeah. right? Right, right, right. And laser. what do all those have in common? He uh, has to jump to do all of those. Oh, yeah. So the, one of the number one ways that I'd like to play against Falco is I want to call his jumps out. If I can call out Falco for jumping, he becomes a lot more scared. Similarly, if I see him enter the air and he's already gotten there and I haven't started something... I know that it's going to be very, very difficult for me to directly contest any of his moves. Mm -hmm. Right? Once he's actually in the air, now I don't really have an easy way to beat him. Right? And when he's in the air, I want you to see something. You are trying to directly... You didn't there, and I'll explain. So that's perfect, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, uh, most of the interactions so far in this game, when Falco's been in the air... Your initial instinct is to try to just immediately, like, fight him or to just immediately throw up, like, a shield. And I'll explain what I mean. So, like, right there, you're jumping into the back air. All right. That, that's, that up smash is so weird. I, <laughs> the, most Falcons will not do that. I think he was just playing Fox the entire day. He was actually playing Fox the entire day. You're okay. Exactly that, right. make, that makes so much more sense. I was going to say, there's no <laughs> way that he just did that as Falco. Like, Falcons don't do it. Because it's it, the, the risk. It's too much. He would have gotten punished for it and stopped yeah. doing it. Okay, so it's in the air there, and you contest it, which is nice. This happens, and again, you're right there. How many times have you seen him leave the ground and then tried to punish him for his landing? A lot. Really? Have you tried to punish his landing? Wait, wait. Oh, 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 punish his landing? No, not much. I've only seen it once, and that one time was the fair that you, I think, kind of fell into the answer and dash dance grabbed, like right there. Mm -hmm. That's the only yeah. one I've seen so far, right? And look what happened. Obviously, he fared off stage, and that's not going to happen every time. But that's a pretty right. that, that's like a, that was a very very clean neutral win, right? You're taking a lot of initiative where you don't really have to. This was a perfect example for a running shine, but that's fine. Right here, that's a that's a shine or an outsmash if they're coming down with a laser. 
you actually played this like super honestly super well because a lot of people aren't going to run out of the corner here and this is a super super risky laser for him he should have eaten shit for that but you weren't ready for it i think you want to start start really simply so you don't know what to look at this matchup start simply if falco's in the air up smash it's great right I'll smash is great. Shine can be good for the knockdown, depending on the stage. On Yoshi's, if you shine him here, he's just going to go to ledge, which kind of sucks. But in general, like, if it's Battlefield and you shine him center stage, he's going to go to the corner, which is perfect, right? Right. So, up smash and shine, really, really good for calling out jumps. And when he's on the ground, drill and grab are very, very good, right? Mm -hmm. So, you want to start separating by thinking, like, is Falco going to be in the air? Is he going to be on the ground? Is he going to be dashing away? Or is he going to be jumping, right? And I can talk about uh, how to kind of get a feeling for those things i'm not perfect at that that's something that i've been working on the past few months although i've gotten better at it um but that's you want to start trying to think about like are you calling out his air options his grounded options are you calling out a dash chance or are you calling out a laser and do they like to the dash chance right some falcos will just spam aerials and lasers and then you want to dash chance grab or just up or call it out with up special shine right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you want to sh shield because you know if they're doing the shitty early aerials you can just shine it as a shield but if they're, right. if they're laser and then they're dash dance, dash dance, you know, you can take the laser and then overshoot and try to punish their dash dance, right? Yeah, I think I think all of this just comes down to am I gonna rec am I gonna recognize what style they're or what they're doing? You know, like if they're doing the high aerials, I don't have to play I can just shield them and then shine that shield, but I have to first recognize that. Yeah. And recognition is important, but also keep in mind that most Falcos, especially at this level, they're gonna do two of these things, maybe. <laughs> that's fair, right that's okay. there maybe do two or three of them and have like one mix up randomly and so the lower the level of the falco is uh and i say that not in saying like low level but like even before top 100 right before top 100 level right. most falcos aren't going to have a lot of mix-ups most players don't have mix-ups right and so you can get used to seeing these different styles and trying to punish it accordingly so let me ask you something you're here and falco's here I i'm just gonna give you a bit of a thought experiment right and you're both in true neutral what do you think Falco has available to him. Let's start with that. Um, let's say you're a dash distance away from each other. So he can maybe instant dare or like yeah, like dare in place maybe to he, beat the dash in. Yeah, he might he might dare, he might do an instant dare to beat the dash in right. He might laser to try to hold you back or he can dash back right. Yeah, yeah. So I would bet though in most of those situations that. The fox is probably going to run in immediately to try to counter something. Mm -hmm. Right? Would you agree with that? You're here. You see yeah, Falco right here. Yeah. And you're going to run in. You're looking for an up smash, right? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So if that's the case, most Falcos have probably gotten hit by that already, right? Right. I'm trying to find a frame what to do this because I haven't had to explain it like this. I haven't had to explain a matchup this uh, simply to someone who's like understands who's like decent at the game yet. So this is new for me. <laughs> My bad, dude. I'm no, no, it's fine. No, it's, it's good. It's good for me. Uh, so most, this is like a level one mix up, right? Most Falcos have gotten hit by that upside already. They've gotten hit by the Fox trying to run at them. Uh, especially if you've been doing it all game, right? Which you have been doing. That's what you've been doing every single time. So right. what do you, which of those options do you think they're going to wind up defaulting to then? If they, if they know that I'm going to up smash, what option do they default to? Um, dash back? Yeah. And let's see what happens in this second stock. Is it here actually? No, it was the second stock. Yeah. So right there, right there he does that. There he dashed back and then side beat over you. Mm hmm He can't dash back, he's in the corner, but you see how he's trying to like retreat around it basically every single time? Yeah. Most Falcos are probably gonna wind up doing that. They'll either try to they'll either try to dash back and laser, uh, to track catch you coming in and then they can grab you, or they'll dash dance around you. Uh the better the Falco is, honest funnily enough, the more I find that they dash dance around you instead of dash back laser because i think laser they kind of use as a crutch but you see how he's just trying to go around you both times and both times it works yeah. completely for free yeah. yeah uh that's where learning when to overshoot versus falco comes into play you in those situations need to be able to recognize okay they want to get out of there because this is a shitty situation for them and because my character is faster right they know your character is faster they don't want to mm -hmm. be there against your character which is faster so if they're going to know if they know that they're going to get out of there overshoot them so what about in cases where that up smash hasn't worked? Like, like let's say I haven't hit them with that up smash yet. Why? Do have what, what have they been doing? Um, maybe shielding. Okay, they're shielding. Sure. Well, then, then the then the answer is obviously grab. But right, mm -hmm. what are they doing? And is it working? Is it working? Do you think they're gonna have an incentive to change? Um, no. 
Probably not, right? Especially not at this level. Uh, right, 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 right. Probably not. I, I don't think they're going to be changing. So at that point, just look at what they're doing. Okay. And then switch to punishing that accordingly. And if they change back, and sick. They... Okay. Then you, then you get to play melee, right? Uh, but for mm -hmm. the most part, it's just going to be watching what they're doing, right? If they're dash back and they're dashing, overshoot it with shine or a drill, right? You can try up smash, putting it down. So it's annoying. What if they're trying to, like... Let's say, like, I'm dash dancing in front of them and they want to hit me before I even, like, run. Who hits first if you both attack at the same time? Fox, yeah. Fox. By f not even close, right? But if they right. do, again, remember, you are faster. You can dash out and dash back in. Mm -hmm. That's like, like I said, if you know the Falco wants to throw something out, I said that about five or ten minutes ago. If you know the Falco wants to throw something out, dash out and dash in just beats it. Okay. There is an interesting part about this that I learned, I think I learned the hard way. If you dash out and dash back in, Falco does a fast fall dare at you, right? And you dash mm -hmm. out and you dash back in, and you hit him basically like as he's about to touch the ground, right as he touches the ground, right as he touches the ground, you hit him. Sure. What do you think winds up happening there? Um, well, I guess it, it depends on what I hit him with, right? You up smash him. Okay, I up smash him. Uh, he probably ACI down text in place. Yeah, because he's fast falling and hitting the L button. Right. So, I learned that the hard way, and so basically at lower percents, if you do this, whip punish with grab or drill. Grab or drill, okay. Yeah, grab or drill. Uh, the other one will get AZ down decked. Uh, I didn't even notice this until... I think it was like a week ago where I was like, how, why, why do they tech this every single time? And I thought about the inputs they're doing. I'm like, they're holding down an L. They're just teching it. That's yeah. like literally the tech input. That's so obnoxious. So you so have to make sure they use it. To do it. No, they're not. It, it's just, it's it's beca because of the fast fall L cancel, they're getting it. Uh, yeah. so similarly though, if a Fox tries to do it to you, you'll probably get the same thing for the same reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, so you're going to have to whip punish it with a grab or drill. But yeah, so there's a bunch of basic things you can do here, right? Falco right. jumps, up smash, shine, great callouts, right? Falco tries to aerial in, dash chance is perfect. Uh, in general, I think you could stand a dash chance a lot more versus Falco, especially this one who's not lasering very much, right? Sure. This guy isn't lasering. Look, he's just standing here and up tilting. This is a free dash chance punish. I think that you're full hopping here because you're so scared of the Falco laser that you don't want to deal with it. Yes, yes. But let me tell you, let me tell you something else about this, which is related to the distance. Look how close you are. If he nair, if he uh, lasers and you nair shine him, what happens? He's off stage. He just dies, yeah. right? So lasers obnoxious. Like if you're here, yeah, I agree, right? I don't want to deal with it. If you're here, I agree. You you don't want to deal with it. You don't have to respect laser here. It's mm -hmm. slow, right? It's slow. You're fast. You don't need to respect it here. And yeah, so that, this—that's the thing. Like I mentioned it earlier, but it's the threat. The threat ranges like at this. Here, I, I instinctively am like, I don't even want to be close. Even though I know that laser isn't even good here, it's just like the threat of getting laser or like jump cancel shined or whatever. I'm just like, I don't want to be here, but I should be okay with being here because he could literally just die. He could yeah. just die. You know? he, he could just hit you with that, but you're more likely to just hit him and kill him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? And so keep that in mind. Don't think about, don't always think about what they can do to you. Uh, maybe this is, I don't know if this will be good for you, but instead of thinking about what they can do to you, think about what you can hit them with. Try to completely shift it around. Don't think about what mm -hmm. are they going to hit me with. Think about, okay, I'm right here, you're right here. I'm faster than you. What can I hit you with? Right. That might make it a little more comfortable for you. Okay. Because at least you're thinking about, okay, well, I have all these options available to me. And then you still have to recognize the risk, of course. Uh, that comes back later. But recognize that you have a lot of really good options here that can just take a stock in about three hits and falco just dies right falco mm -hmm. is a lot more scared of you here than you are of him right there's a reason they shoot lasers when you're here they shoot lasers when you're here so that you don't get frame advantage when you get to here yeah they don't want you to have frame advantage here. that's very very scary if you are here you are winning if you play the entire game out from this spot and you get to like study this and learn this spot you win like, this becomes a 70-30 matchup. The problem becomes when you're over here. Right. That, then it becomes a lot more annoying. Now, here's the other thing I want to tell you about. Uh, because this is a, a habit that I see from a lot of foxes. You're on the platform. Right? Mm -hmm. What are you thinking when you're on a platform? 
I'm thinking he doesn't want me to be here, so he's gonna do either he's either gonna try and attack me up here or he's gonna laser me. Like double jump laser. He might. Uh so then what would that but what what how does that translate to what you should be doing? Um Well I have no I, I should have no um what's the word? Like I should have no like reason to do anything. I should see I should just watch what he's doing. Almost. Like yes. I don't have any of yeah. Yes, you should. Yeah. You should definitely watch what he's doing. More specifically, what do you think you do off the platform? I'm not going to show you anything. What do you think you do off this platform? Ed? You do it a lot. Um, boy, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> uh, I probably, Good. I probably try to attack the. Yes. Pistol. You always try to attack him from up here. Do you think you should attack from the top platform every time? No, I don't think I should. No, I don't. I, I don't either. Yeah. I, I, the top the platforms can be used to attack. More often than that, they're used as a way to find your way back down to neutral and to get yourself to a better neutral spot than you were before, mm -hmm. right? To me, a platform is almost like eighty percent of the time it's like a get out of jail card, right? I want to get out of here. I want to reset the situation. Let me try playing it from somewhere else that I like better. Right. But why would I do that only to put myself in another bad spot? I mean, that's a good question, man. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's why I liked, liked what you said. Watch the character. Okay, sick. He's just up tilting. Come down here. Now you're in a good spot and he's just blindly up tilting, right? And yeah. now he's here. You're here. He's terrified. He's going to jump out of the corner. I'm full hop nearing him because he's a dumb, scared bird. He's dead. Right. That's how this situation would play out if I was probably in game over and over again sure uh you tried to attack from here and falco's down there is big and it wins a lot mm -hmm. and then you died for it right let's see what happens next time you go to the platform so i'm giving you a bunch of like small pieces of information but i'm also uh ignoring one very important part which is obviously full hop and that's the last thing i'll probably wind up talking to you about Full hop is obviously very, very good in this matchup, but people abuse it way too much. So you saw how I uh, told you how, like, up smash is really good, right? How uh, shine is really good, etc. Well, obviously, Falco's going to have answers to that, right? They can yeah. laser you coming in, right? They can laser you coming in. They can immediately dash in and try to punish you beforehand if they have some kind of advantage. Full hop annihilates both of those things. If you mm -hmm. full hop over him as he starts his laser, he will land and you get to drill him. Right. If he tries to dash in and you full hop over it, you, he lands and you drill him for it. Mm -hmm. Right? Full so hop is don't, amazing. Yeah, I drill, not, not like back air or nair like I've been doing. Depends on the percent. Definitely yeah, depends yeah. on the percent, but yes. Especially a low percent, just drill. drill. It gets you a grab or an up tilt. Right? Right? Sometimes if, you do, if you're not feeling confident, you can still shine and you still get a tech chase. But it's, it's just so much stronger and so much more fruitful, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to trust your punishes. But yeah, full hop shits on both those things. And it's very annoying for Falco to deal with, right? Because now right. they have to deal with the threat of your up smash and your shine, but they also have to deal with the threat of, well, if I call it out and he full hops over it, sick, I just lost. Yeah. And also, full hop gives you the threat of going to a platform, right? Let's say you start your full hop, and you're like, uh-oh, I don't like the spot. You have a platform you can double jump to. Get out of there. Yeah, like use it like a reaction point. Yeah. Okay. When I full hop, I have a reaction point, like, right here. That's, do I like the situation? If yes, all right, keep going. If no, peace. Right. See you later. Or sometimes I'll fade back the drill, because maybe I think they're going to try something, and I'll fade it back, fade it back, Tomahawk, and then they'll, uh, or I won't, I'll just fade the full hop back. They'll up till and I get a free uh, pop Tomahawk grab. Yeah, I've always just, like, seen full hop as, oh, just another angle to attack. But, like, in reality, it is so much more than that, you know? So. It's, you can bait with it, you can attack with it, you can defend with it, you can run away with it. Like, there's a million things you can do with it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you the basic, like, matchup interaction so that you can at least just start hit finding hits on Falco and feeling a little more confident of where you can actually hit him. And even if you feel like you can't hit him, go back and watch the VOD after, and I guarantee you you'll see at least one of the two of the things I'm talking about, and you just didn't pick up on it fast enough. And then the more you see it, the more you kind of pick up on it, the faster you'll recognize it in the future. Right. But that's a really obnoxious mix-up Falco deal. So you're telling me if he jumps and, you, and I up smash or shine, he's dead. 
and then if I full hop 70% of the time, I can get away if I guess wrong, but if I guess right, he dies. That's <laughs> that's pretty fucking obnoxious to deal with. Yeah, right? pretty, pretty damn good, yeah. Yeah, and if I don't like it, again, I go to the platform and I can stalemate him. And don't feel bad about it, because these fuckers stalemate with laser all the time. Yeah, dude, yeah. Right? So don't feel bad about it. They say you full hop camping, it's like, okay, then stop lasering. I'm here, you're here, why are you lasering over and over again? Stop lasering, I'll stop full hopping. And then, yeah. they, and then they'll probably complain, and then you'll complain, and then both of you are being stupid <laughs> because you're both stalemating. That's fine. Right? Right. So, you don't... few things that I want you to take away from this. Uh, one, understand where Falco's actually weak and when you can actually hit him. Two, you don't have to interact with it either. Like, you can go to the platform when you're on the platform. You don't have to attack him. Hmm. You can wait. Okay. Let's play. Maybe he comes up and attacks you on the platform, and if he wins that situation, sick, good shit. He called you out, right? Like, get outplayed. But you don't have to engage there. You can wait. Because yeah. let me find a better spot. I'll take my time. You're taking your time. I'll take mine. I don't need to go in. I don't need to go in all the time, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're close to Falco and he doesn't have frame advantage, he's terrified. He loses that situation hard. He's slower. Yeah. He has a smaller shine, right? He's much That's more like fragile. Yeah, that should be like go time if I'm that close. Yeah. yeah, I see that my eyes light up. I'm the happiest person on the planet. I get, <laughs> I somehow closed down Mango and now we're right next to each other. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm like fucking finally. <laughs> thank God. Fuck you. I get to play yeah. now. That's like literally the best part. I didn't talk about power shielding much at all, um, because power shielding at an early level is like really, really simple. But a few things to note about power shield, um, dashing back in power shielding, way easier. So if you want to just like power shield just to piss them off, just, d just do a dash back right before the end and it'll be making it much easier to power shield. Uh, yeah. Walking forward makes power shielding easier. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, so Weird. there's this a stupid thing Kalini found, but it's actually pretty good where I can walk forward and then buffer the walk into wave dash turn on up tilt. You can try it. I don't recommend it just yet, but it's, it's there. Uh, and then running power shield. If you are going to do an approaching power shield, it has to be a running power shield. You cannot dash power shield. If you dash power shield, your momentum stops, and you can't actually do an air out of it, or you can't do oh a drill out God, of it. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. Yes. Okay. When you're in run, your momentum is preserved. When you're in dash, your momentum is not preserved. So right. just literally boot up Uncle Punch or something, and r dash immediately shield, and you'll do a shield stop. Your momentum mm -hmm. will cancel. Now enter run animation and shield, and you'll notice that you'll slide across the floor. Yeah. Right? The running power shield shits on Falco. Because now you're approaching with his laser, and you're fast, and he's fucked, right? Right. That's very, very bad for him. The dash power shield is a stalemate. It resets. But it might put you in frame advantage, so it still might be better. Right? And if he's in the corner, it'll let you work your way up. So they have mm -hmm. their spots, but that's a lot more intricate, so I didn't want to talk about it right now. Uh, I think right now, full hop and understanding the grounded clouds. The way I kind of would have internalized it earlier on, as I would say, like, I want to go for, like, 20, 30% grounded options and callouts and dash dance, and then, like, 70, 80% full hop. That's a lot of full okay. hop, but eventually some of that full hop is going to get replaced by better dash dancing and better power shielding. Hmm. For now, it'll be fine. Uh, I think that you have to learn this aspect of it before you can move on to the harder aspect. That's my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Other people might disagree. If they do, that's fine. Uh, that's my opinion. I think learning this aspect of how to abuse Falco is very, very crucial. And early on, it'll be the most, like, initially rewarding. And also, you'll understand where it's good and where it's bad, which is crucial for going forward. No, I mean, I think you're right. Like, a lot of matchups, I feel, you can know a lot of the, like, level 4, level 5 stuff. But, event like, some things just boil down to, do you know how to beat, like, a very basic option or not? And if you don't, then you're kind of fucked. Yeah. So. And with Falco, if you don't know how to beat his basic options, you are actually fucked. Yeah, so before yeah, people, yeah, you go into, like, crazy power shielding stuff, which is important, you gotta learn how to just beat him upright. Mm -hmm. Um, Is there anything that you're still questionable on right now? Um, no, I mean, I guess not. I, I guess you, you answered a lot of my questions about Falco. Also, oh, just, no, just basic thing, uh, you know how to smash you out of Falco combos? Um, yeah, it should be, like, away from wherever the Falco's... Like, if Falco's going forward, you should SDI in. You're gonna, if he's doing later damage, you can also smash the eye down. Smash the eye down? Yep, smash the eye down, you'll, you'll impact the ground faster, and you'll be immediately actionable, and you can reversal. Really? Yep. Isn't that forbidden smash the eye? No. 
It's pretty easy. Yeah. Just do the wink. Just do like the fucking wink SGI down. And you're fine. If you if he's doing it lower to the ground, if he's doing it higher up, it's harder. But if he's doing it higher up, it's easier to smash GI out or in. Uh, if he's doing it lower to the ground, that's harder. But it makes uh the smash GI down uh shit on him. Interesting. Remember, not every downer is done at the same spot. It's done at the same spot. Oh, I guess I do. I do want to talk about lasers. Like, I know that I I currently do a lot of full hops to beat lasers, but I'm not really super comfortable knowing what ranges a certain option beats a specific laser or like when to just when to just ignore the laser when can i just like take the laser and just do like i don't have to deal with it like that that's pretty much uh laser again it's enormously complicated and i think it's like there's a, any number of ways you can deal with it uh one tip that i like to give to people is just because he's shooting laser doesn't mean you can't sell dash dance Right, people, okay. people like look, look at look at how far away you are. Right, people get hit by a laser here, and Falco's still here, and they feel like they have to run away. Right. Yeah. But no, you have center stage. He's shooting lasers from the corner. Right. He's in a bad spot, and he can't immediately he can't down or cover all of this with a laser. Right. 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 So what what here what here is the problem with uh taking the laser and keep that chancing? Are you worried they're just gonna laser for? 90 seconds in a row when not approach <laughs> yeah. right maybe one out of like 20 falcos would do that but at that point if they're literally not approaching that much then we you know that you just abuse them in the corner mm -hmm. right okay uh besides that if you're closer what if i could like to do at a laser think about it uh a lot i mean a lot of them like to do the dare okay dare and so Think about it. What kind of dare do you think they're gonna do? Um, usually full drift forward. Okay. Sure. Uh, timing. Timing. Um. Okay. Well, a good Falco probably wouldn't do early dare, but most of them do like an earlier dare. Why? Why would they do an early dare? Because, well, for one, you can. This is advanced. This is a little advanced. I don't really do this, but you can jump into the early dare, land on the ground. Yeah, I, get punch it. Them. I, I do that a decent amount. That's only a low percent, though, so let's say you're mid-percent. Okay, mid-percent, um, well, you can shield it and try that shield. Okay, really dare. sure. And then what do they do instead? Um, instead, they can uh, they can do a late nair, I guess, to beat, like, your shield, and then you're stuck in shield. They can, like, shine grab and stuff like that. Okay, now what do you do? Or what do I do, then... Um, I shouldn't shield the Nair. I should just nope. da I should dash and grab. You could dash and grab, or I'm just gonna take the laser. I could even crouch against the laser. I'm just gonna run in an up smash or shine. Oh yeah. Or I could running Jason shine that. That's why they do the early dare. Yeah, yeah. Because right. if they do a late aerial and you up smash or shine them, they die. Right. You see that? Right. They don't have they, they like they don't have a hitbox out for nope. like a good. And you're faster, and they have a slower jump squad. Right. Not great for them, is it? Yeah, so, like the I said, I'm like even thinking about it is if the if the spaces are next to each other and there's no actual frame advantage, they're just next to each other. Fox should always get his aerials out fast. Yeah, he just does. He just wins. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, yeah. The Falco has to hard out play to win. That that's the message I'm trying to get across to you. You're asking these questions, and they're valid questions, but they boil down to what is the actual threat. Right? Yeah. You sit down and you look at the mix up and then you realize, wait a second, Fox is still fine here, right? The laser is a nuisance, right? There are times where yeah. laser actually like laser is great, right? And there are times where laser will actually troll you. But a lot of times you're already fucked when the laser is gonna mess with it's, it's just a laser is a way to make them confirm something or get them to like just close something off that would be otherwise be pretty difficult. Yeah. But right here, or even here. I'm not scared of it, mm -hmm. right? What's it really going to do? It's annoying, yeah. It pisses me off. But besides that, what's it really <laughs> going to do? Uh, get some damage, and that's pretty much it. And annoy me, yeah. Yeah, and especially if I start power shielding it back, they're gonna be so much more annoyed than you are, right? Right. Because they're in a corner. This is supposed to be their get out of jail card, and they still can't get out. And it's like this is just it becomes a nightmare for Falco really fast. 
Mm -hmm. And I know there's going to be a bunch of Falcos like, well, Falco has all these options. Yeah, I know Falco has all these options. I'm aware of that. I'm. This is level one stuff. This is like how you just start looking at it from a very, very basic standpoint. Right? And then yeah. Fox has a bunch of other ridiculous stuff that he could do back. Uh, so long range, I don't care if he's lasering. Go for it, man. I'll power shield it. I'll dash in. I'll, I'll chill. And if you're really going to be that campy, I'll just call you out. All right. Closer... That's scarier, right? But then we talked about the mix-up. There is there are there are mix-ups involved with being closer. And maybe instead of doing the aerial, they dash in waiting for you to up smash, right? And then you'd have to overshoot. Right. Yeah. But that become that boils down to mix-ups, I think, after the laser. I think the laser scares people and it complicates it more than it has to. Because after I'm explaining this, doesn't it feel like it's just a normal mix-up like you would play with any yeah, other character? Yeah, just normal mix-up. It's just a normal mix-up, but what what'll happen is like, oh, the fox will get hit by the laser, and it's like either they have either they want to look like, like just fully retreat or fully run in and not actually like realize that you don't have to do either. Yeah, of those. keep playing neutral. Yeah. The laser doesn't win the neutral. Keep playing. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think that pretty much covers Falco for me.